the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Clippers playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers out at Quicken Loans Arena. And for Cleveland, they must be satisfied with the way things have gone for them over the first few months. They've played with confidence and composure and have won more than their share of games. And as we come up to the midway point of the season, Kenny, we're seeing some of the veterans who started slower now picking up the pace. Well, I think early on, a lot of times, if you've been in the playoff for some veterans, the early going in the season is a little mundane. But then as you start seeing the light at the tunnel, they don't pace themselves anymore. And you want to make sure that you're in playoff position to make something special happen at the end of the year. Excellent use of the word mundane, by the way. How about you, Shaq? Well, Monday, uh, experience <laughs> told me when you need to go hard and when you need to pull back. You know, the best veterans will be there when it matters the most. That's mundane, not, oh, okay. not mundane. Oh, I thought he said yeah. Monday. Like mundane, yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, okay. Thursday. Got That's it, my bad. Two different things. Here's Kevin Harlan. It's the home of the Cavaliers here in Cleveland, Ohio, as we bring you an interconference match here at the Quicken Loans Arena. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Today's game marks the continuation of the Clippers' road schedule. This is a team in search of an identity. They've dropped seven of the last eight, and they have looked completely out of sync. Kevin, in recent games, their luck has been all bad and tough. And that could very well continue against the team they're facing here in this ball game. It's not going to be easy to end the streak. And you don't want to have to face these guys on any given night, never mind when you're in the midst of a struggle. But the timing could not be worse, but the opportunity couldn't be any better. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. J.J. Redick is out there with Crawford. Then it's Thompson. Then there's Green. And it's Griffin in at the four spot. Now here's Green. Shot clock at six. The baseline J. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. They just weren't challenged. I mean, nearly as much as they should have been in that game, at least when they had the ball. Yeah, it was a mismatch. I mean, the defense from the start was on its heels practically the entire game. Here's Crawford following the basket by Freak. Griffith hits the difficult fadeaway jumper. And sometimes you just can't get around your defender there. You got to hit him with that high top fade. The drive by James, 13 feet away. And again, another shot clean there from the professor. And a big part of this weekend for the players is just getting to hang out with their peers in a non-competitive environment. I think, Clark, that I heard Freak was invited to relax with some of the big guns. Yeah, it was Freak, Curry, Harden, and Davis all hanging out this all-star weekend as much as these guys compete on the hardwood, it's kind of nice to get together within the fraternity of the league and just enjoy each other. Doesn't happen a lot, but it's kind of cool to see when it does. No one near him. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his third assist on the night. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Green with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. LeBron against Green. Griffin dishes to Reddick. For three. The shot no good. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Guys, a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. 
Here's Crawford following the basket by Freak. The dish to Griffin. Jordan with the rebound. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. No good from the professor. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. And Reddick kicks to Griffin. Inside. And Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist by Griffin. Assist from... <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Passes it to the professor. LeBron James on the wing, guarded by Green. No good on the three. Clippers trail by six. Crawford, no one around him. Cranes the three-pointer. Crawford's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. James against Green. The kick out to Irving. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Boy, they're getting into a real groove from inside the three-point line, knocking down those mid-range jump shots. Eight of their last ten have come from the mid-range. Here's Reddick following the basket by Kyrie Irving. There's Crawford with the three, and again Los Angeles with the triple. You know, the defense was lax right there, and he's able to make them pay. James, the pass to the professor, kicks to favors. Irving dishes to Jordan. And a wide open look for James. That one's good from the corner. LeBron's got his first basket. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And Reddick kicks to Thompson. They set the pick. Shoots a fader. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much room. Wow, 10 straight points from mid-range. You know what I've always said, partner? Good shooting covers over a multitude of eels. And we're seeing it right now. Now here's Crawford. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Boston. And defensively, guys, he was just all over the place, forcing turnovers and applying terrific ball pressure. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. And a big height advantage right there. You know, it's tough to bring a big man that far away from the goal, but that might be a mismatch they're willing to live with. I didn't think that was going to go in. And that's 15 points for Freak. And what a year it's been for Freak. It hasn't gone unnoticed as he'll be part of the All-Star game. What a dream come true for him. And you certainly can't argue against Freak. He earned his spot on the All-Star squad, Kevin. Making that roster is one of the hardest things to do. And his play this year has been outstanding. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Pass to Favors. On the wing, Irving. Now the pass to the professor. Fires for three. Another three for Cleveland. And it really starts to look like they're going to have one of those days where nothing goes wrong. Well, Greg, they certainly haven't done anything wrong so far. Stretching the lead into double digits already. Terrific awareness among this collection of centers and power forwards. The big men averaging the most assists per contest over the previous 10 games. Blake Griffin, number one. Some of the great passing big men over the years, and, and they are some of the best players ever. I mean, period. I, I'm sure that's not lost on him. Certainly not. I mean, it's precisely why he's worked so hard to become the passer he is today. He didn't want to just be a scorer. He wanted to be a complete post player, and he's done it. And here's Reddick following the three-pointer by Freak. Green with a screen on Irving. Reddick against Irving. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And it's Green missing. 
I tell you what, you can shake your confidence missing wide open shots like that. A professor. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists now in this one. They've got themselves in front with some outstanding shooting right off the bat. It's been a complete technical dominant performance out here. They are in a zone. And it's Green missing. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Celtics in Boston. And, and nothing went well offensively on this night for them. They were just completely disjointed. Yeah, you could call it the three Ds. Disjointed, disorganized, discombobulated, or whatever else you wanted to use to describe that would be appropriate. Here's Griffin following the basket by Freak. Griffin a screen on LeBron. Pass to Redick to end the run. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Cleveland leading by 14. No good from the professor. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And the wide open shot from Green. The Clippers rebound. Griffin gets the 14-footer to fall. Griffin's got six. Cleveland's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. The feed to Favors. Reddick against Irving. Makes it off the glass. Six points for him. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. And Reddick kicks to Jumper. Griffin down low. He's against Jordan. That's his first personal foul. The Clippers shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. At the line for two. Free throw drops for Griffin. A different look now for Cleveland. Anderson, he's checked in for Jordan. Smith comes in for Derek Favors. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Kyrie Irving. The Clippers also changing it up. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Thompson. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Jeff Green. Both shots good from the strike. Cleveland leading by 12. There's a good screen. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And the idea of setting a screen on that play was right, but just poor execution. Yeah, it just can't be a hard screen at all costs. There is a legality to how you set a screen, so you've got to be inside of both lines, legal and hard. And the Clippers making a switch here. Pierce has checked in. Now here's Reddick. 20 points for him last game against the Celtics in Boston. And don't forget his unbelievable steal total in that game. I mean, almost to the point they didn't want to bring the ball up the floor. Here's Reddick, just five on the clock. Dishes to Pierce. They get it back. Aldrich, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. That's his first personal foul. The Clippers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Delavidova. He averages about uh, five points a game. There's the pick. Passes it to the professor. Or the three. Rebounded by Tucker. Rebounding's going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. It always is, and it has been so far. And they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. Now here's Shumpert looking for his first basket still in this one. Reddick with the bucket. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. 
They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. Let's see how the Clippers have performed over the last few weeks. First in steals. They were sixth in field goal percentage. And they are in the top third of the league in assists. With the quality of players they have, you thought they might be better there, but not bad. And you mentioned their steals. I mean, it's great defensive anticipation that has them at the top of the rankings. They've been tremendous at reading the offense and getting into those passing lanes. There's the three. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And a moment here to look at some of the stats for Shumpert. He's averaging about seven points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. And he can play some valuable minutes on the wing for this team. Yeah, and you know, when he's hot, it's really quite nice to watch. I mean, when he's cold, you simply sit him down. I mean, save him for the next time. Elvin over the pass to the professor. High post tries. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Delavid over. 27 points for Freak. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Now here's Pierce. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. They set the pick. Out to Smith. Jacks up a three. Another three for Cleveland. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. Reddick dishes to Pierce. No luck. The Cavaliers leading by 13. Smith outside. And another three for Cleveland. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Now, here's Reddick. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Shot clock at six. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Not pretty. You've just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's the break. A shot's good from the professor. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do better. Now, here's Reddick. They set the pick. He feeds it to Pierce. Shot to stop the run. Rebounded by Anderson. And here's Cleveland. It's an 18-point lead. That's good. And that's 31 points for Freak. He couldn't have dreamed of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. Just four seconds left here in the first quarter. PJ Tucker. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Cleveland ahead as they end the first quarter on a 15-6 run. We've got more in store for you right after this. Here's Freak now on being selected to his first All-Star game. Uh, it's a huge honor, you know? I mean, I couldn't have an All-Star kind of season without help from my fans, teammates, and my coaches. So uh, I got to thank them for supporting me and, you know, helping me get to this point. 
think, Clark, about his All-Star selection? Well, I think it was deserved, Kevin. I mean, the All-Star game is the who's who of the NBA, and you want your best guys front and center for that showcase, and he deserved it. He definitely qualified for it. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Cleveland. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. They've got P.J. Tucker. Amon Shepard is out there with Crawford. Then there's Griffin, and it's Aldrich in at the center. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Grizzlies was just a man on a mission. He dropped in a staggering amount of points, as he usually does, really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. What a show it was as he put up some really amazing numbers when it was all said and done. Even we marveled at his performance, Kevin. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified. Yeah, I, I think they'll be a little afraid. <laughs> I mean, anybody who saw that game has to still be in awe of what he was able to do. Just absolutely dominant. Boy, I tell you, he was in such a rhythm and on a roll. He could have won that game all by himself. Thompson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And so the ball out of bounds. Yeah, Jordan one. touched it last. Safe up. Safe up. Quarter number two. We're about a minute in. Thompson, a screen on Irving. Just five to shoot, 11 feet away, and the shot no good, a bit short. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Now here's Shumpert, following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Here's Griffin. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. Shooting two. That free throw good from Griffin. LeBron, he's checked in for the professor. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Green's checked in. Main group substitution here for the Clippers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for Thompson. Pierce comes in for Blake Griffin. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Jeff Green. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Jamal Crawford. LeBron can't get it to go. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Tucker can't get it to go. The Cavaliers leading by 17. Here's the professor. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Delavidova. 35 points for Freak. And, and that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. There's the screen. Outside Pierce. But three... It's rebounded by Cleveland. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. Zinks it in the shot from the professor. Kevin, he's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. Now here's Shumpert. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Boston. And Tucker kicks to Shumpert. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Cleveland's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Gets it to go. That one good from the professor. And, and chalk up a few more points for him there. This has been a one-sided game in just about every area. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. Now that's how to finish the break. Throwdown with force. 
scoring well here at the midway point, and now they're starting to put some distance between them. Well, offensively, they just continue to, to roll. I mean, they're padding that lead bit by bit as a result. Now, here's Reddick. Here's the screen. He kicks to Pierce to the inside. And Cole Aldrich with the slam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop chop there with that one hand tomahawk slam? One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Aldrich. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must do when you're down. We got to be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts. Cleveland Rotate leading by 22. And make your presence felt. Hell of it over. The pass to Cowan. Let's it go from deep. And another three for Cleveland. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Shot for dishes to Aldrich. And Tucker has it in the corner. A drive by Shepard. That's tipped. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge league. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at the, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. And here are the Clippers now. The Cavaliers making the shots. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. For Cleveland, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific, 79% as a team. That's been one of the strongest aspects of this team this season. I mean, there have been very few off nights for them at the free throw line. That free throw good from the professor. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for the professor. He's got 44 points, and he sprayed home three three-pointers as well. This is really production personified for the long range. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoops. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Aldrich, no good. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. This guy's putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Now, here's Redding. Looking to end the run. Gets the front of the rim and out. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he ball, shot the ball, ball anything like he's capable of. They're spraying him home from mid-range today, guys finding the gaps in the defense and really just slicing and dicing them right now. Here's Shumpert following the basket by Freak. And Reddick kicks to Shumpert. Five to shoot. From deep. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Cleveland's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Seven-second difference, shot in game clock, feeds it to Reddick. Pierce with a screen for Reddick. Buries it from three-point range. JJ Reddick. Reddick's got five now. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And he gets it to go. Elvin Ova's got five points now in the quarter. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Reddick with the three. 
So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Cavaliers on top, running away with it. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Kevin, we just witnessed what was an amazing offensive display from this guy in the first half. Where did that scoring explosion come from? Wow, it's really that many points? That's a reason to say so. I'm not really concerned with my points or how I'm getting to start counting points now. Well done. Thunder up, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Okay, guys, great work in the first half. That's how you take care of business on your home court. Couple things. This is the sort of offensive rhythm we know we're capable of when we put our mind to it. I like that we're active, moving our feet, making the right passes. At least we're on target from beyond the arc. There was some good long range shooting for us in that half. And in these next two quarters, the tempo ought to be brisk. And if we have anything to say about it, it will be. Let's push the ball and see what happens. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys, but you know, anything can happen. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. I agree with you, Greg. Judicious shot selection. All of his looks were good looks. The Clippers shooting about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. A professor, he's in a shooting guard. Jordan is out there with favors. Then there's Irving. And it's James in at the small forward position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. And as far as jump shots go, that's what you have to continue to try and get. I don't know how that one stayed out. And Reddick kicks to Green. No good. James with some nice D. And he's really having all sorts of problems with his jumper right now. Yeah, big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all with a plot. Here's Reddick following the basket by Freak. There's the dish to Crawford. And stolen by LeBron. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. James has got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Irving's gone 5 of 7 from the field. That's uh, over 71% actual. Here's Crawford. Los Angeles with another miss. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. The shot's good from the professor. Make it 10 of their last 12 points coming off assists. 
You have to love the ball move. Crawford drives in. Crawford missing again. The Cavaliers have gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. The Clippers have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Pick by Griffin. To the middle, off the pick. Pop loose off the pick and hammers it home. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Favors, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And they're giving themselves extra possessions and have taken advantage of it, and that's critical. You can shoot a few lesser percentage if you're getting more opportunities at the rim. Here's Reddick following the basket by Freak, and Reddick kicks to Griffin. From 10 feet out, looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Here's James, and yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. James has got six. A big part of this run here has been their ability to hit from mid-range, guys. I mean, that's um, that's unique. And, and a lot of teams shy away from that mid-range, but if you can get them off of rhythm, then you can have success. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. That is good. James has got four points this quarter. And, and that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? Crawford drives in, he dishes it to Thompson, and he throws it down hard with one hand. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. They set the screen. Irving kicks to Jordan. Pass to Favors. Nobody near Irving. The three-pointer off the mark. Clippers have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Crawford outside. Let's it go with a three. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's the professor. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. The professor's got 58. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving them medicine. Crawford with the ball. 13 points in the game. Griffin passes to Crawford. Six to shoot. Green dishes to Griffin. It's rebounded by Cleveland. LeBron's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Shots good from the professor. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. The Clippers shooting 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. And Reddick kicks to Crawford. Crawford with another miss. And boy, has he been struggling big time here in the quarter. Yeah, he's played tight. I mean, you can see it. No flow at all to his game right now. Now here's James. He's got eight. Inside. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Yep, he's their leading scorer, Kevin, in this game and has been the dominant figure today. No doubt about it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Crawford with another miss. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's gone wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this hot. Here's Crawford following the basket by Freak. Green passes to Crawford. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Freak. Good game for Jamal Croft. 13 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. And that's been an important part of his game today. It's really space the floor. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And that one falls for Crawford. Smith checked in for the Cavaliers. Cole Aldrich, he's checked in for the Clippers.
And so Jamal Crawford nails both of them. Cleveland's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Kicks it to Favors. Smith on the wing. Jordan sets the pick for Smith. Off the screen. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Griffin's got his third rebound on the night. Crawford outside. The shot no good. Great D that time from Jordan. No good from the professor. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Reddick kicks to Crawford. From deep, Green. That one goes. Count it. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Irving against Reddick. And it's Irving missing. The Clippers shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Irving against Reddick. Here's Aldrich. Banked in off the glass. Aldrich has got nine points. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. Here's the professor. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. 67 points for free. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. A shot's good from Aldrich. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. And Favors has it in the corner. Irving attacking. That is good. Irving's got four points in the quarter. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. Griffin, a screen on Smith. Green against Smith. Outside Griffin. It's Crawford on the wing. Shoots. No good off the back of the rim. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Outside Irving. Move the ball. It's sticking too much. Knocked loose. Crawford with the steal. Irving against Reddick. Aldrich dishes to Green. Here's Griffin. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And you talk about huge single game scoring performances like we're watching here tonight. Going back, only one player. Think of this, only one player in NBA history to go triple digits. And that's the Big Dipper, Wilt Chamberlain, on March 2nd, 1962. Truly an iconic record. I mean, 100 points. I mean, it's hard to wrap your mind around, uh, uh, but Wilt was a man among boys, a player who changed the way an entire sport was played. Truly a revolutionary. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. 19 points, and he's knocked down five shots at the charity strike. Good numbers for him. Yeah, they are. It's been a nice element of his game today. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Pierce has checked in for Reddick. P.J. Tucker comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Amon Jumpert in for Jamal Crawford. That one is no good. Cleveland's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Took him no time at all on that one. 70 points for Freak. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Riven sets the screen for Pierce. Tucker. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Cleveland's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Della Vidova kicks to Smith. 
There's the pick. Fires the three. And another three for Cleveland. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when you're giving up those looks from deep. Cleveland's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. Fires at the elbow. And again, it's Cleveland. That one was solid. There's a big difference in the field goal percentages between these two teams here in the second half. And, Greg, that difference has come about because we've got one team moving crisply, getting good shots, and the other is just kind of stagnant. The Clippers have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Balanced scoring, Clark, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you, need, you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> J.J. Reddick's checked in for the Clippers. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. There's the pick. The pass to the professor. And it's good. Assisting on the play with Delibidova. Delibidova's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. L.A. has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Outside jumper. Fires for three. No good. Some solid to hear from the professor. Here's Smith. The shot is off. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. Pierce with a screen for Reddick. Pass to Pierce. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got six rebounds now in the game. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Clippers ball. The Clippers shooting right around 41% from the field in quarter three. Now here's Shumpert, tight defense on him. Wide open look. And it's Shumpert again, missing. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. The shot's good from the professor. Boy, a big gap between these teams as far as fast break points are concerned. Yeah, and, and some teams play a slower tempo, but defensively, you have to commit to sprinting back in transition and denying those runouts. Reddick passes to Pierce. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cavaliers ahead, just dominating this one. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail biter here, but you never know. Yeah, I'm on some rappers, pay my bill. All the books you get, I thought it made. 
For the Clippers, Tristan Thompson comes in for Elton Brand. And it's Blake Griffin in for Paul Pierce. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, we've got Thompson. E.J. Tucker is out there with Griffin. And it's Crawford, and it's Shumpert in at the point guard position. The shot's good from the professor. And, and until he cools off, I'd keep the ball in his hands. For Los Angeles, they've gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Here's Griffin. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. For Cleveland, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to the professor. Here's Adrian. Outside Martin. Stolen by Tucker. Crawford outside. And Thompson kicks to Griffin. Cannot hit. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Here's the professor. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. The professor's got five points now this quarter. The Clippers shoot just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Crawford drives in. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. You know, huge height advantage there. But because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control he's sent to in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. And, and you need the defense to stop the bleed. And it's Thompson with the jam. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Cleveland's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Della Vidova kicks to Adrian. Here's the professor. And another three for Cleveland. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either. So that's a double-edged sword there. Now here's Shumpert. And here's Tucker. Crawford outside. Fires from the wing. And it's the Clippers scoring again. For Cleveland, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Elevadova dishes to Martin. Here's the professor. An easy two points on the layup. The professor's got 13 points in just this quarter. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. It's Crawford with the drive. Crawford with another miss. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Shot's good. Add another triple to their second half total. They came out of the break just dropping bombs and just are not letting up at all. And here is Shepard following the three-pointer by Freak. Now here's Shepard, picked by Griffin. Down low, five to shoot. A nice shot by Tucker. That was a nice finish to an excellent possession. Cleveland's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. They double him with Shepard. Pass to Cowan. And there's the second dunk to finish it off. Boy, he is such a ridiculous dunk. High riser, oh no doubt about it. Goodness, I mean, you've come to expect plays like that from him. And folks, that never gets old. Come on now, young fella. Watch out. You might bring that whole basket down on top of you. I didn't think he was ever going <laughs> to let go of the rim. I tell you what, though. You might as well enjoy the moment. Make it last just a little longer. And the shot's good from the professor. Just dialed in from the three-point line in this fourth quarter. Yeah, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they're putting a world of hurt on them with the triple. Now here's Crawford, picked by Griffin. The feed to Tucker. Shumper gets a wide-open look. The offensive rebound, Thompson. And that is good. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. You're right on target there, Greg. Of the last 10 points they've allowed, eight have come from in close. 
And Cleveland making a change here. Anderson's checked in. The Clippers also changing it up. Pierce comes in for Blake Griffin. And J.J. Redick is subbed in for Shumpert. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And again, the three-point shot from the professor. Well, he scored over half of their points so far. That's a major contribution. Crawford kicks it to Tucker. Crawford a screen on Martin. And the wide-open shot from Reddick. And again, no good by the Clippers. Here's the professor, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Delavidova. Just carrying the load right now offensively, guys. He is not wasting any chances. From where I sit, Greg, it's a simple deduction. If they want things to be easy on themselves here late, make sure he has the ball. It's stolen. Out to the right wing. Here's the professor, and again, it's Cleveland. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Reddick passes to Pierce. Looking to end the run, and J.J. Reddick good for three. You've got to be in his jersey before he catches it. You've got to deny him a catch. Otherwise, he'll hurt you from deep. Here's Delavidova. Doubled by Crawford. Here's the professor. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. Crawford dishes to Tucker. Pierce kicks to Reddick. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Reddick's got five points now in the quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight spirited performance and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Cavaliers. you're right Steve. it was a standout performance across the board they were just uh, at times smart it seemed toying with them. yeah like watching a cat play with a mouse kevin quite yeah. honestly they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do and the strong effort here will convert into what will be their 50th win on the season and so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with oh, a win. Yes. And that next meeting, Greg, will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in a two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. Yeah, another one. And you have to look back up. at this Tape and up. see the huge game it was for the professor. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Irving's checked in. Now Reddick. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Crawford, no luck. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's a good offense. And they're not finished just yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, not taking any chances, Greg. This is how you close a game out. Textbook. Pierce with a wide open look. The rebound by Anderson. Here's the professor, guarded by Crawford. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and Clark the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Well, I think these fans, too, Kevin, gave their team a tremendous lift. I mean, they never gave up on them. From the opening tip until the end of the game, they were in it. And that certainly helped this crew get to the W. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Well, you absolutely torched them from the outside tonight. Did you feel like you could hit from just about anywhere on the court? Yo, as weird as this sounds, at this point, I gotta say yes. Sometimes you just get so in the zone, you feel everything coming off your hands is going in. Yo, I got to that point tonight. I hope I can find it again sometime soon. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more.
All right, Doris, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan along with our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to head back to the studio with Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hi again, everybody. This is Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time now to present our Jordan Player of the Game. Freak. An absolutely astounding and historic night for him here in this game. He was simply unstoppable in what can only be described as a masterful performance. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest to who the best player on the court is. He was outstanding tonight. His feel and understanding of the game were on display. In terms of three-point shooting, this could be framed as a historic performance. Hitting that many three-point shots in a single game is borderline impossible. The pressure was off the rest of the guys offensively. They just had to worry about getting him the ball and setting screens. Then it was bombs away. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night. You guys have been making it look too easy the last few games. How long do you think this will last? Forever? Man, I don't know. You guys are the ones that make a big deal about this kind of thing. We're just trying to win games and compete for a championship. If we're thinking too much about some stupid streak, then it's going to be over real quick anyway. So stop asking about that stuff. Let's talk about something else, please. Do you feel like you've been taking too many shots from long range lately? I don't know. That's probably something you should ask coach. But hey, if I'm gonna take a bunch of threes, I should at least be making some of them. And I did that tonight, so there. Who's next? So you've been selected to play in the All-Star game next month. Do you feel like you were deserving of the selection? Um, that's a strange way to ask that question. So I'll just say that it's an honor to have been chosen. And I'm excited to get the chance to go out and represent this team and these fans. The All-Star Game has always been one of the highlights of the year for me ever since I was a little kid. So it's a great feeling to know I'll get to be a part of it this year. So that's it. I guess. Looking forward to it.